right, good afternoon, good afternoon, listeners. Thank you for tuning in to the Real on Real Estate radio show, and we are live in the studios of WMBM 1490 in Miami. And of course, I am Realtor Kay Brunson, licensed realtor with K1 Realty Group. And of course, during the show, you can reach us by dialing 305-953-9626, that's Dave. For our Broward listeners, 954-525-1490. And of course, toll-free listeners, reach us by dialing 888-599-1490. And of course, you can contact me on 95, oh, sorry, 954-552-5919 is my contact number. And you can also reach me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under Realtor K. Brunson. And of course, I normally do and say who our broker is, but guess who we have in the studio this morning or this afternoon? Right. Oh my God, Kay, I am so glad to be here. I am Dr. Karen Lewis, licensed real estate broker with K1 Realty Group. And my contact information is 305-323-1556. And all our social media is K1 Realty Group. Do not forget to check us out. K, oh my God, I haven't been in here so long. I'm so excited. I can't stop smiling. Dr. Karen is in the house. It's been just, you know, the last time I was on this show, it was December. Last right before Christmas. year. Right. right. Wow. I haven't seen you here in this chair in the whole year. Well, well not a year. Well, well, close to it, though. <laughs> you know, the, the great thing about it is that I don't even need to be here. I've listened to you all, and you all are doing such an outstanding, Aww, outstanding thank you, job. Thank you, thank you. You're giving great information to our listeners, so that's what it's all about. Thank you, thank you, thank so you. So what we have we, going we on today. We learn from the best. <laughs> to God for that. What yeah, the, yeah. All right, what, what we have going on? On our last show, we had such a great show. We had an appraisal here. He was giving us great information about uh, appraisal process and also giving the tips on um, how the appraisal process goes from the appraisal point of view. So it was such, such a great show. Um, in addition to, you know, we normally just jump straight into the market trend. So that's what we'll do today. But we want to start by doing some actual um, spotlight. But before I go into the spotlights, I just want to also let you listeners know that if you want to get information or want to see those highlights from the last show, um, you can actually go to our K1 Realty Group Facebook page. Okay, so now we'll jump straight on into the spotlight. Okay, okay. that K for the spotlight. So we, we definitely want to make sure that we're telling our sellers, hey, this is still a seller's market. People are still gotcha. listing their properties. Properties are available. And one of the properties that we want to talk about is a property, actually, if you're looking for a rental. Um, in Hollywood, Florida, we have this beautiful one-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. It has a sunroom. Uh, it's in the heart of Flo uh, Hollywood, Florida. So, of course, it has a very large bedroom with a walk-in closet. Um, it's near highways, shopping centers, eateries, parks. I mean, just right there in the center if you're you know looking for a rental. This is definitely the, the location you would want to go to. And of course, with all rentals, we want to make sure that you know we're getting the best out of our buck. Of course, it includes water, cable, access to the clubhouse, the pool. I mean, and it also has a private lake. So definitely a good spotlight if you're looking for a rental. Gotcha. Okay, Here, here's one that I want to. Actually, this is hot. This is a hot listing. It's not even in the MLS. It's going in the MLS today. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm going to give out the address. The address is 5620 Northwest Third Avenue. It is a two. It's a duplex. It's a two one and two one. So it's two ones on both sides. The seller is listing it at for two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. Bring your offer. Wow. My say again is bring your offer. It is a duplex. You may even want to stay in one side. You Correct. may even want to use it for a rental it's income. A rental and that's income. part of you know you, when it's rental income. Okay, you can always add that to your financial portfolio when you get ready to retire. So drive by. 5620 Northwest 3rd Avenue, and if you're interested in that property or you know someone, then give me a call, 305-323-1556. Maybe that's your first investment, and we'll show you how to do more investments. Right, right, right. So we're always looking for, you know, looking out for our sellers, our investors, our buyers, and like Dr. Karen said, that's an awesome, awesome, awesome um, investment opportunity. Right. And in fact, 
you know, when we're talking about duplex, we also have another duplex that's also in the Miami area. It's also a um, a two two bedroom, one bath on that particular on each unit. Should I say it's near the Aventura Mall, uh, next to large retailers. You definitely want don't want to miss on, out on this particular. Um, opportunity as well and of course it's completely renovated completely renovated bathrooms upgraded floors throughout very good condition so again if you're looking to be uh, get into the investment like dr karen said and get some rental income you can either buy the entire you can buy the entire thing rent one side out and use the other side for your particular residential uh, location or you can actually rent out both sides you know I mean, uh, duplexes and multifamily uh, homes are definitely, or multifamily uh, places are actually something that's very big. And, you know, if you're looking to do investment, those are like smart, smart, uh, smart projects. investment. Moves. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and, we're, and we have actually, a, we have quite a few duplexes for sale. So uh, people are, sellers are selling them. And to me, that's a good time for investors to start jumping into that because I'm always thinking long term and they can use that as their rental use as rental income. Here's another one, even if you're not interested in investing, you may want to purchase a home. So we have a, another property that's hot today on the market. We have a single family home that's in Miami Shores and that property is fully remodeled and the design home is in the heart of Miami Shores Biscayne area. Uh, there are so many features. I could mention the features all day, but there are great features on it. And the property is $706,000, but it is available to show only for qualified buyers now. So you have to be qualified. Correct. <laughs> but uh, we do have that available for you, and it's one of our hot properties right now, and it will go fast. Great. And I mean, anytime that we're on here, we're spotlighting properties. We're telling you these um, about these properties because these are really hot properties. I right. mean, this is one that you really want to take your time out, reach out to us, schedule a showing. And of course, if you want to schedule a showing uh, to see any of the properties that we mentioned, um, of course, you can contact us at 954-552-5919 or calling Dr. Karen. 305-323-1556. Kate, let me give them another hot property. We forgot 55 yeah. Plus Community. Oh, that's, that's right. We can't, always want to can't talk forget about the 55 that. and Golden Community as well. <laughs> We do have one available in Lauder here. That's a beautiful three-bedroom, two-bath corner unit with an awesome golf view. Even if you don't play golf, you may just want to look outside at the golfers. Uh, but master bedroom is huge. It's a must-see. Third bedroom, you can use that as a den. Nice kitchen, new AC unit, walk-in closet. And this property has over 1,600 square feet. When you have a condo that's over 1,600 wow. in a 55 plus community, Correct. if you're looking for a 55 plus community, that's a must for you to see. Yeah. It's a guard gated community also 24 seven. Clubhouse, tennis courts, pool, exercise room. I tell you, I love those 55 plus communities. Man, those are like hot commodities here. What, who else does? You want to retire here? Of course, you want to be in the 55 and older community. This is a great, great, great property for you. And it's in Inverary, right, Dr. Karen? Yes, it's in Inverary. <laughs> and that's part of here. Um, I mean, Inverary is a very desirable location, especially when you're thinking about most of the houses are around that golf course and people want to actually live in that area. I mean, it's very, very, a very good area. So definitely a good look Perfect. in Lotta Hills. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And again, if you're buying or you're wanting to sell, looking to sell, make sure you can reach out to us. We can handle all of your real estate needs. And, and you know, we'll, we'll go a step further. Even if you have a real estate agent, we're on the air. And the reason that we're on the air is to educate our buyers, educate our sellers, and educate our listeners. You may even have a question, even with the real estate agent. Feel free to give us a call because you may want to ask us a question because this is not your everyday language, and we're here for our community. Great, great, great. So again, reach out to us um, to to schedule those showing. And like Dr. Karen said, we're 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 for the people. <laughs> right. We're, right. We are the we are K One Realty Group, and we are definitely for our people. All right, Dr. Karen. Yes, ma'am. Um, it is time for the real on real estate giveaway question, and uh, there's one that we just can't seem to get an answer for. 
that we've been trying and trying and trying and no one can actually seem to get this one correct. So since Dr. Karen is back on the show, we want someone to call in and tell us what is the name of our show? Okay, so <laughs> this is how we're gonna do it this time. Okay, now you heard what Kay said. The question is, what is the name of our radio show? So we're not gonna have you call in. We're not gonna let okay, you call so in today. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. You're going to give us the name of our radio show, but you are going to text Kay, and you have five minutes to text Kay the name of the radio show. Kay, you got that? So yeah. they're going to text you. Kay, give out your phone number. So we're gonna say it again, the name of the radio show. You have five minutes to text Kay, and you're that winner. And we're not gonna announce it this show, we will, we're going to announce it on the next show. We're going to keep it like that. So Dr. Karen's in the house, and you know she's going to change some stuff up today. Hey, we should. <laughs> she's going to make it live. <laughs> so, guys, again, my number is 954-552-5919. I know somebody knows the name of the show, so go ahead and text me now. And, of course, Jeff will announce the winner on the next show. Okay. All right. So you got that phone number. You got a phone number. You're going to text the name of the radio show, but don't forget to text your name as well. So we'll yeah, know your you name. Call oh, you're right. Your name to my, <laughs> to my phone number. <laughs> so we got it. The question again, what is the name of the radio show? Maybe we need to change your name or something. Yeah, see, yeah, like nobody is getting a name. Right. I thought we had an awesome radio <laughs> show name, but we do. Gets it. Like we WMM. Do. You know, the name of the station, they get that because it's like four letters. So maybe we need to So maybe we have to do anchor R -R. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> See, we're on the same page. Okay, hey, think about that, okay? Okay, you're good with that. So you think about that. And I'm open for it. Okay. <laughs> right, right, right. So guys, thank you again. And of course, you know, we always want to we have we have a show that's just packed with a lot of information. So we want to make sure that we're taking time to give you um, this information of what's going on, you know, in the community and things of that nature. And one of the other things that we have Dr. Karen in the house, of course, you know, so that's that's one of the things that we want to talk about. But before we do, let me just tell you about a project that's coming up. We're actually having a first time home buyer seminar that is coming up with our preferred lender, uh, Legacy Mortgage Lending Corp. They're having a first time home buyer seminar and it will take place on May the 18th um, from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. in their plantation office. Now their plantation office is located at 155 North State Road 7, Plantation, Florida, and the zip is 33317 if you want to Google that, of course, so you can have the directions. And of course now the first time home buyers uh, seminar is for anyone if you're a first time home buyer or even sometimes you have a person who purchased a few years ago and now they're looking to purchase again and but they never attended a first time home buyer seminar right. you know so this is for you as well right. because here we're going to be giving so much information we're going to have some of the top lenders there um the lenders will be explaining the complete mortgage the mortgage loan qualification process of course you know they'll be talking about different type of loan options such as uh, FHA and conventional. I know you guys may have heard that, especially if you're doing your homework and you're a first time home buyer. Those are some of the things you're looking at, as, as well as VA. But also, like, you know, how much does it cost to actually purchase a house? You know, what's going to, what do I have to pay out of pocket? What are the down payment requirements? These are things that are actually going to be available at the first time home owner seminar that the, we'll speak about, you know? Right, right. And the, the thing that I was thinking about as you were talking, we do have a lot of home buying seminars. I mm -hmm. mean, they are all over and they're available for people to go who's looking to purchase a house. And you also said something that even if this is not your first time Correct. purchasing a Correct. property, I suggest that you still go to the seminar mm -hmm. because there could be so many new things mm -hmm. that's out there, new changes that have been made with the mortgage finance and even Correct. we're talking to the real estate agent. And here's some of the things that you do get to uh, learn at uh, Legacy Mortgage at their seminars. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to stay in mind and be mindful of the upcoming seminars that they're going to have is that 
they're gonna you're gonna not only know about the mortgage mm -hmm. process you're gonna know about the real estate process Correct. and some things that are not taught in home buying seminars is who are the key players who Correct. do i look out for as my key players Correct. what is on that contract what should i be looking at Correct. on that uh, purchase and sales contract Correct. what are my numbers mm -hmm. what are my numbers now what are my numbers in the process Correct. what are my numbers at the end Correct. and how do i put give out you know give my money at closing costs break that escrow Correct. deposit down to me that's not an everyday language for an everyday buyer Correct. so they'll know those things and most important k is that buyers they can learn what part do I have to play? Mm -hmm. We have to let buyers know that you do have a part to Correct. play. You have to it's, mind your business. It's about you. It's all about the you. The whole transaction right. is about, it's about you. you. So exactly like Dr. Karen said, so we want to make sure that we're fully educating you and giving exactly. you the things that you out of the norm, the stuff you right. can't Google. <laughs> right, right, exactly. You, and you can't Google. <laughs> exactly. Say that again. The stuff you, can't you cannot Google. Google that you actually have to get from the realtor, right. from the mortgage. And, that's and it goes back, Kate. It still goes back to mind your business. Yes. Mind yes. your business. Exactly. Not mind anybody else's business. Mind your business. And a lot of times we notice that in the process that clients do not like to mind their business. Mm -hmm. They like the real estate agent, the lender. Correct. They like them to do all the work. And then as soon as something goes wrong, then there's Correct. a pointing the finger. They so we understand. want you to be mindful and know your part and what it is that you have to do in your responsibility as a client, as a buyer. Because I tell my real estate agents, when you're dealing with $200,000, dollars $400,000, that's a lot, that's of, a lot money. of money. And Correct. when you entrust me as a real estate agent to work with you on that, then that's important to me. And you have to feel the same way. Correct. Correct. Because that's your money in your pocket. Right. I right. Mean, that's, that's your money that, that you signed on that exactly. dotted line for. It's the exactly. same thing as swiping your debit card. Right. Well, <laughs> you, yeah, that's a good question, too. Well, when we swipe our debit card, we really you don't think about it. You don't think exactly. about it. And that's <laughs> what <laughs> happens when you're dealing with two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 because you don't have it in your hands. It's not tangible. Exactly. And you kind of take it for granted. That but is not true. with our clients. We, we help you and we educate you through the whole process from the beginning to the end. I'm not saying other companies don't do that, but we specialize in that. Yes, yes, yes. And so that's why, you know, putting together something as important as the first time home buyer is it's definitely for you. And like Dr. Karen said, we'll be there giving you the stuff again that you cannot Google. But in addition to answer some of the questions that you may have, I know a lot of people talk about uh, gift money. You know, right. Um, right. <laughs> exactly. Working, you know, so you you need to know if you can actually use that gift money or if you can't use that, that gift money. I mean, there's a there's a whole scenario to the gift money. And not only that, uh, even if you're in the process of, of purchasing and you, you're not sure if you're able to purchase, we'll be able to answer those questions for, for right. you. Right. You'll have credit repair specialists there. You'll have um, also, you know, someone there to talk about the actual home itself. Uh, painters, home insurance company. I mean, the whole Everything. crew is there. We have all of our partners there in order to do right. the process with right. you. And, and my understanding is that people are going to get pre-approved right on the spot. Right on the spot. And they're going to tell them to bring their documents so they can get pre-approved. Right. Now, that's right. awesome. Right on the spot. And like I tell my clients, once you've been pre-approved, you can actually be in your property within 30 days. Just depends on how long it takes you to find that property. But I mean, I've had clients go out and we go out one show and they see three properties. Guess what? They put the contract on it and 30 days they're in the house. So <laughs> come get pre-approved, come get the knowledge. You know, we're, we want to share it with you. And Kay, she doesn't tell it all. So I'll just <laughs> tell it all. I tell it all, 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 all. Not only does Kay get them to do 30 days for a closing, <laughs> if you're really ready, oh, yeah. if you're really ready, she can tell you, I'm going to have that deal closed in 10 days because she works with the lender yeah. who's able to do that. Yeah. And again, she'll show you the process. So it depends on how ready you are. How ready you are, she's ready. And I have to add this too right here. You're talking about somebody that's going to show you from the beginning to the end and make sure you understand everything. That's the type of real estate agent that you want to work with. And we partner Correct. with lenders who are able to do that from the same financing thing. Correct. Uh, point. Correct, the same thing. We, wanted, we make sure that the people that we partner with, we interview and we make sure that they, they operate and they work just as we do. 
you know, we do our due diligence. We make sure that we are right. you know, constantly in contact with our clients. And so our partners are doing the same because that's important. Right. And okay. some people get ruled, uh, they get written off. We, we, <laughs> if they're not doing a great job, that's yeah. it. No money, no nothing. We don't compromise. No sugar code. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be cut off. <laughs> exactly. Well, and of course, again, uh, I'll be there and I'll give yeah. you information about the real estate transaction. But Dr. Karen? I'm going to be there too. And I got put on the list too. I got put on the list at the last minute, but I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm going to be talking about real estate from the investment point of view. We're just a few minutes I'm going to spend talking about okay. that. And then after that, we're going to set up a seminar uh, in July. So I'll give my number out again, 305-323-1556. We're going to be talking about breaking real estate investing down like a first grader. Mm. There are so many things that yeah. a lot of times people go out and invest, and mm -hmm. the reason that they fail at yeah. it is they don't they don't know the rules. Mm -hmm. They go out mm -hmm. there, somebody have told them, hey, you can get rich by investing. Correct. And Correct. so they just go jump out there, but it's almost like somebody in a football game. Correct. If you don't know the plays, There's if levels. you don't know the language, <laughs> exactly. If you don't know the system, the rules and the regulations, mm -hmm. then you're not going to win the game. Correct. So you have to know the rules to investment and you can make plenty of money. There are tons of there money is. that you can make. So I'm going to uh, talk about maybe three issues. Uh, number one, about the mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, number two, how can a person invest with just their single family home? Mm -hmm. You know, how can they get mon make money in the first one to five years, wow. even if they've never invested before? Correct. And number three, how to find the properties. And at the end of the game, it does not matter what you do when it comes to investing. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to go out there and do what we call the word action. You have to, make you have to do it. And you have to do that yourself. I Correct. always say this in a, with a personal trainer. My brother's a personal trainer, and sometimes I, I really want him to do the work for me to mm -hmm. lose the weight. <laughs> I wish. But, but, he, but he always comes back and tells me, no, I can tell you what to do, but uh, I cannot uh, go and work out for you. I can work out with you, but I can't do it for you. And if you're interested in investing, I think it's a good seminar for you to attend. And especially the one also in July. Again, if you're interested in that, 305-323-1556, and we'll keep you abreast of the details. Correct. And, and Dr. Karen, I like what you said. Um, we talked about Googling, doing, you know, Google search and also, you know, people go in and, and try to get information on how to become an investor through YouTube, and those are good sources. Right. Even with um, home buyers, a lot of home buyers and sellers, they go and they, you know, research things to try to find out how to or what is the how's the market and things of that nature. It's a great thing for you to step out and to seek the information. Right. But like Dr. Karen said, you still have to come to the professionals. So that they can take what you have and kind of put it in a right. step by step. You know, right. you have all this information. Right. Now let us tell you at what step to do this part and then right. how to go to the next part. So definitely, definitely, definitely home buyer seminar, you know, speaking with your realtor, you know, K1 Realty, we're here for you. But we, we are the source to be able to put the information for it, it all to make sense. Okay. Gotcha. And, and, and that's good too. I, and I'm going back to you. Yeah. Is when they, when you get your information from Google, YouTube, or whoever that's not the expert, and a right. lot of times right. buyers, especially buyers, because you're not paying the commission, mm -hmm. so you're getting information to help you. You're getting an expert, and you do not even have to pay commission Correct. when you get those steps on YouTube. When you get those steps on Google, what happens is that when you bring that information to a real estate agent, then what they'll do, they'll start talking to you about it mm -hmm. and then you'll get an aha moment when you'll ask another Correct. question pertaining to that Correct. now if you just YouTube it and you don't get any information Correct. from the expert mm -hmm. then you may miss something Correct. Correct. and Correct. you want to minimize error as much as you can when it comes to, to real, real estate, estate transaction yes yes indeed so definitely definitely make sure you're seeking out us and you know so that we can actually guide you in that direction and tell you which way you should actually be going with it and of course, um, just to reiterate for the location, again, that location for the seminar is uh, time is May 18th, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. 
and of course to it, 12 I'm sorry right. to, to 2 p.m. okay got you 11 a.m. to 2 okay and okay and it's also located at 155 North State Road Plantation Florida all right so um, there was one more thing that we wanted to talk about as far as for the seminar in reference to the, the appraisal if you if you if you attend the seminar um, you can receive a chance or you have a chance the teams that have a chance to have a $500 free appraisal paid to you at closing um, that'll be paid by the title company GS tax services if you sign a contract within 45 days of attending the seminar oh that's awesome so that's that's also another perk because that appraisal is just that five hundred dollars <laughs> right. and right. if you can have right. anything to save you you know on this transaction that would be an awesome opportunity uh, for you so it's a great thing that they're doing the pre-approval right there on and the on the spot because then you can go out with the realtor and as I indicated within 15 30 days, you can be in your house. So oh, there you go. There's your there's your five hundred dollars for you your appraisal. appraisal. You can close it. You can close and, and I hear I hear that it's uh the seats are going pretty fast. And also I do see the cost. There's a cost for it, twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cent. And that's included with the guest. Am I guess. correct? Correct. Okay. You can bring one guest. And, and you know, sometimes people would ask the question, why would I pay $29 when I can go get free information? It's because these people have just taken the time out to Correct. work with you, give you the information, go way past what a home buying seminar will do mm -hmm. and what it will entail. And not only that, you have access to these agents, to these Correct. people, where you can call almost like 24-7. It's almost like they have Correct. a 24-7 uh, desk waiting exactly. for people to call and give them information. And sometimes when you pay, unfortunately, this is the sad thing is that you you be more apt to utilize Correct. your services or what you paid for as opposed to you you getting it free. So I again I highly Correct. recommend it, and I think there are only a few seats left, Kay. It, but yes. uh, you can uh, speak with Kay in reference to that. Nine five four five five two five nine one nine, and I like what Dr. Karen said as far as for when you when you pay for the services, don't think about the portion of what you're paying. Just know that, you, like she said, we have people that are readily available to you. And, you know, you can call. That we're there in, in, in physical, there at the seminar. But in addition to when you walk away from the seminar, we don't just go away. You can right. actually call us. You can interact with us. A lot of times when you go to these <laughs> some seminars, once you leave the seminar, That's you it. can't get in contact with the person. That's it. And there's, so, no, tra there's no tracking method. And, you know, I, Kay, I just went, I'm always learning. I'm going to learn, learn, learn. I mean, even if I had to go to the mall, if you, if someone said, I'll give you $5,000 to go to the mall or go to Barnes & Noble, mm -hmm. well, the mall would just be excluded. Correct. I would go to Barnes & Noble. Learn I, I recently had paid for a seminar myself, mm -hmm. and this is this is cheap. I paid $1,000 for a three-day seminar, mm -hmm. and... I had someone say, you're crazy for paying that. And as soon as that person said, you're crazy for paying it and don't pay it, mm -hmm. I wrote that check so fast <laughs> till it wasn't even funny. Yeah. And that was one of the best seminars I wow. attended. So we have to learn how to invest in, in ourselves. Yourself, in yourself and what, you, and what you're looking for, your goals. Right. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right. And of course, we have Dr. Karen in the house. And I, as I uh, have started to implement in our uh, session, because... So many people are attracted to the real estate business, not only as a, the buyer, the seller, and the investor, but you have people who say, hey, Kay, how do I become a realtor? Right. You know, so we want to make sure that we're always letting you guys know that if you're looking, if you're, you know, you're a realtor for one, if you're already a licensed realtor and you're looking for a full-time position with K1 where you can actually grow your business, um, definitely, you know, we're looking for candidates. Of course, we want you to be self-driven. Uh, customer service focus, empathize Bell for learning, and of course, you know, we're we're a family. So if this sounds like you, this is you or this works for you, definitely give us a call, 954-552-5919. And of course, if you're not a licensed agent, but you want to know how to become a real estate agent, definitely reach out to us because that's information that we can help you with as well. 
All right, and of course, because we have a broker in the house, so where where else are you going to get the broker actually in the house to speak with you live on the radio? Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Kate, I was thinking when, like you said, you looked at your watch. Is it time for us to go? Because I you know what, we're having so much fun. Okay, all right, okay. so, we may have to do an hour <laughs> show. <laughs> okay. right, well, let's just talk to ladies. Put their hands up or something. That's what we're gonna do. But uh, Kate, you know. There are so many times, even our clients, um, at the end of a transaction, the first thing that I'll hear is that I'm ready to get my real estate mm -hmm. license. Mm -hmm. Because people tend to think that it's easy. <laughs> well, you can, now, this is the easy part. You can go to school for seven days. Mm, that is easy. Uh, that is easy, but it's not easy. But you do have to love what you do. You really do. And, um, Three things that I was I was sharing with my husband, I was talking about, you know, in real estate business. So I'm going to give you the three nuggets uh, if you're going to be successful with real estate. And we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, some of the things that we do at K1. Uh, number one, he didn't want me to use this word. Uh, he said, this doesn't sound like kind of godly, but I don't know what that means. But <laughs> anyway, I said, you have to hustle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You he really? said, babe, maybe you can change the name from hustling. <laughs> no, I said, you have to get out there and hustle you really and, do. and stay in that grinding mode. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. And I said, and if you cannot hustle, then you have to connect with somebody who can do Correct. it. But Correct. somebody on the team has to be Correct. able to do it. Correct. And, and all of what that's saying is that you just happen to have that drive, that energy, that mm, to yeah. go out there and, and make it happen. Like we said, self-driven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we'll use the word, you have to be self-driven. So the reason I use hustle, because I had three H's, right? <laughs> well, Dr. Karen, I hustle and I grind and I'm self-driven. <laughs> so it's all good. And so here's another thing, too, number two you have to have habits mm -hmm. you have to have money making activities you have to have money making habits you can do a lot of things and be busy doing something but if you're not doing the right things then right. you're not going to be successful so you have to have money making activities and you have to make them habits and number three you have to have fun on this journey yes. i tell you you have to have fun <laughs> fun fun and if you don't have fun yeah. it's like us when we get up every morning we love what we do, Correct. so we're not working. And that's Correct. why we can do what we do and we can have a heart for the people Correct. because we have fun doing this, right? That is, that so is, that's, that's my take for you if you're ready to become a real estate agent or even if you're in the business and you're not making the money that you think Correct. you should be making. Correct, correct. I love that. Everything she said just now, that's just described. It puts it that, all in the That's who you are, Kate. Okay. <laughs> that's what it is. And I don't know, this may be wrong, but you also got to be a little crazy. <laughs> so that's that. You know? And risky. You have to be willing to really, I like said, love what you do and you be do. willing to risk it all because you love what you do and have fun. And you know, sometimes we we laugh and like, hey, welcome to real estate. That's our that's crazy. Our crazy. Little, that's our little crazy. Like, <laughs> if I, you know, oh, okay, now back to real estate. But yeah, you do. You no, know, you really, really have to love what you do. And as I, I you know, it's it's your business. It's your you're, you're running your business. your business, so you want to have fun with your business, and you want to love your business. And, and we love it. And even like at, you know, you, you, we do have to have training too. You definitely do want to get training. And one of the things that we do, we provide training. Uh, Every week we do have trainings to make sure our agents get the training that they need because a lot of times people, new agents, especially they get out of real Correct. estate uh, school, they get their license, now they're excited mm -hmm. and then it's like, what do I do? What, what's Where next? do I go? What's, what's my next step? Right. You know. Right. So we have training and some of our trainings for just this month of May K, we're having um, May 15th is one of our great trainings. And, and even if you're not affiliated with K1 Realty mm -hmm, Group, mm -hmm. we still invite you we to come and train you. because you. this is a profession and we want to do everything as an individual Correct. or as a brokerage to make sure that we all are working as professionals. Correct. The more information that we know, the more we can help our community. Correct. We're having uh, my financial broker, Robert Henderson Jr., he's going to do a seminar, Financial Planning for Real Estate Correct. Agents. Oh, Wow. Because at the end of the day, you make 3%, you make 6% commission, mm -hmm. and then what do you do with that commission Correct. after it's over? Correct. 
like you say, you're minding your business. <laughs> you're minding, and we have to mind and, our and business. And when we get that money, when you get that money like that, now you become your, you're the employer. So you got to allocate what goes to taxes, right. what goes to my bills, what goes what to goes the market. <laughs> exactly. What, what goes to the flow. Exactly. And there are so many components. There's so many components. And if you're, like you said, you're mismanaging that money. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we're also, too, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, because if we look back, could have, should have, would have. Correct. But now, how do we move forward Correct. and maximize it? Because, Correct. you know, even just the average person, mm -hmm. we're living paycheck to paycheck. Correct. So, and real estate agents, we don't know when our next commission yes. is going yes. to come. Yes. You know, I was taught that when you get your commission, I was taught this like 18 years mm -hmm. ago. Don't just go and spend it, even though you have bills, though. Mm -hmm. Set some aside because you don't know correct. when that next closing that is, is going to be. Yes. And we're also, at the end of the month, May 29th, we're going to have a lunch and learn workshop on investing for mm -hmm. real estate agents. Yes. Here's another avenue. Exactly. Uh, we know as a real estate agent, mm -hmm. we work with investors, mm -hmm. we sell houses, and mm -hmm. not one time do we have that Take mindset it, yes. to say, hmm, maybe I could think about buying this seller's house. If I don't have the money, how can I partner Correct. with somebody? Or how can I build a list of cash investors who will work for me mm -hmm. and who will work with me so that I can maximize that seller's property. Correct. I may can buy or I may can't, but at least have the mindset. You have to have the mindset. Like, like Dr. Karen said, we were talking about the uh, clients and levels of investing. There's levels to real estate. When yes. You, when you first get into the real estate game, you yes, want to be is. one on one level, but you always want to look to go into the next level. So when you're talking about financial planning and investment, that's taking it to the next level of being a realtor, you know, being a real estate agent. So you always have to also look to put yourself on the next level as well. Okay, here, and I'm putting this on live radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <own speaking. laughs> Two things that I wish I could have did, but no one shared it with me. Mm -hmm. That's why I share it with my agent. Mm -hmm. Number one, no one taught me uh, how to start investing. I had mm -hmm. to learn and I had to go through trial and error, mm -hmm. humps and bumps. Mm -hmm. And all I thought about was just getting a 3% commission. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, I didn't understand how to put up money for mm -hmm. taxes. Mm -hmm. And so one year I was audited and then they came back to me, the IRS. People tend to hate them. I don't hate them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes negligence calls when you don't know the rules. Yes, and that's yes, all that is. Yes, yes. And I had to pay the IRS where I had to owe them $60,000. Oh, so that wow. were, those were my mistakes. Wow. And so what I do, and I share it with my agents, don't go through the same Correct. mistakes that Correct. I made. Correct. What you're doing as a broker, mm -hmm. you want to show your agents how to minimize their errors. And Kay, you always say this to me, uh, one of the things you say is, well, look like everything that I've had to go through. This lady says she's been through it already. And, and that's what I was just about to say. One thing I can say about Dr. Karen, she is so transparent. And you don't get that from a lot of brokers. A lot of brokers just tell you the fluff and say, hey, everything is great in real estate. But Dr. Karen is going to tell you the ups, the downs, the in-betweens. And that makes you, you know, feel like, okay, you know what? If she made it, I'm looking at her now, she's a business owner, she's a broker, she's been in this game for 20 plus years, and guess what? I'm sticking with it. I'm doing the same thing because you, you have. have that mental <laughs> so, so those things, that transparency is just, it's priceless. It's right. priceless. You, you have to, I mean, you really have. And, and I've just watched you remember a picture, and we just get off track because, again, and the reason that we get off track sometimes and we break away from a script is because we do have fun with it and we love what we do. And that's why we don't have a problem with talking about mm -hmm. it. I saw you and I posted this and uh, <laughs> maybe about a year or so ago when you were uh, standing up on the, by the podium oh, yeah. and you were nervous. She was not even talking and she said that she was nervous. <laughs> and from that year, since that year, she's been on the radio. She's been the host of the Real mm -hmm. on Real Estate radio show. <laughs> 
she's been doing the home buying seminars and every time that somebody calls her to speak she does it and she does it with excellence she's do she's doing some of the trainings at the office and i've watched it grow but you know with all that being said i think how you get that that comes from a teachable spirit yes. oh well, thank you thank you yes. thank you yes. and a great teacher so we'll get you and a great teacher well, i receive that i receive that <laughs> yeah so i mean it's it's awesome i i oh wow i remember that day and i'm like <laughs> how do i hold the, the microphone should i hold it this way and i'm like every the the whole audience is gone we're, we're alone and i'm nervous on how i should be looking behind the microphone but man like you said what a difference a year made right and, you, and you've had fun on the journey i have and we've I had have. to we had we have to and and again in real estate you have to like any other business and a lot of times too i, I talk to business owners about it because if you follow the same principles mm -hmm. then you can get the results it doesn't matter what profession you in you just have to follow the systems mm -hmm. too. And Kate, you've been a good student, and we're saying this for people who are interested in real estate, whether you're talking about full-time, part-time, right. whether you want to do real estate investing, whether you mm -hmm. want to be a buyer, whether you mm -hmm. want to be a seller, it all goes hand in hand. Yeah. And we have to have systems in place. And Kate, a lot of times people won't do this right here. Mm -hmm. And this is just the truth. Yeah. That, you know, you give them systems, you mm -hmm. give them steps to follow. Mm -hmm. Step one, step mm -hmm. two, step three, step four, and step five. Yeah. And so because they're not used to it and mm -hmm. it's outside of the norm, mm -hmm. then they deviate from the yeah. steps. Yeah. When the steps say, if it's almost <laughs> like when I pay, I have coaches, right? Mm -hmm. When I pay coaches thousands of dollars mm -hmm. and they tell me, Karen, do step one, step two, and so on. Mm -hmm. And then I say, well, no. Step three doesn't sound good. So I'm not, I'm not going to do step three. Yes. I'm going to skip step three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do step one and step two and step four. Correct. But you're not following, following the system. Yeah, yeah, See, you're yeah. paying for the system mm -hmm. that they told you, mm -hmm. and you trust in them, and you believe that this system works. Correct. If you don't believe that the system works, then you should not have it. Correct. So if somebody tells you something, then that's the system Correct. that you should follow. And even though it's not the norm, because what's happening, mm -hmm. you have to get out of your comfort zone. Correct. Correct. And you have to shift. And being out of your comfort zone, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. oh I can't stand mm -hmm. it. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And this is the first thing. This is not me. Mm -hmm. This is not me. We know it's not you. Correct. That's why you Correct. are getting a coach. Correct. So we can get you Correct. from being you mm -hmm. and take you to another level. That is so true. That is so true. You, like I said, when I say risk, real estate, there risk. it is. <laughs> Business <laughs> risk. Yes. Business risk. You have to be willing to take the risk. Right. If you're ever going to go to the next level. Right. You and know, you have so. to treat your business. You have to treat it like your business. Yes, it is. You know, it is your business. It is your business. It's your business. You know, it's every, even though we, we are, we're one company, but everybody has a, a small, you know, entity in that company as a, as your right. as your business. It's your corporation. It's your corporation. It's your corporation. I do my household. I like the Lewis Corporation. <laughs> You're you're the vice president. You're the president. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. we have to figure out who the president and the vice president. No, <laughs> I don't know about Karen. <laughs> all, right, all right, so I'm going with that. <laughs> but you but know, no, you, yeah. you do have to treat it like a business, though. You really do. And uh, real estate is just great. I'll I'll say that. And and from any standpoint, and I even think that when you're thinking about long term for retirement. It's one of the things that you definitely should want to have in your portfolio. Mm -hmm. I mean, no if and correct just about it. Because you're gonna make money. Also. You, you're gonna make money. And <laughs> one thing though, you 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 risk it. You have to have. There will be some risk though. Mm -hmm. I, I've lost a lot of money in real estate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have though. Mm -hmm. But am I scared? Absolutely not. Because mm -hmm. I understand risk versus correct. reward. Correct. You know? Correct. And you have to do that. And that's just part of the business. Now, one thing I will say, disclaimer: if you're scared, if you're scared, they don't even take your money uh, from, from a financial <laughs> planning standpoint. If you're scared, yeah. they make sure they you fill out a suitable ability form mm -hmm. and if oh, your wow. risk is low you have to go because people kill yeah. people really yeah. like you lost my money man yeah mm -hmm. no sir they yeah. say no and you <laughs> have to look right at it as a long-term investment and not a you know not always is, is it going to be a get key. quick yeah. there you go get quick right it's, it's not it's, it's over not. it's over a, a certain amount of years and you just have to stick with it stick with it and you'll you'll reap the benefits and you can get you know on on investing you can buy a property mm -hmm. you can purchase a property 
and then sell it in a certain amount of time. Correct. You can sell it in, in 90 days or so. So that's one thing, that's one way of investing. And when what investors, they call that the exit strategy. You always have to have an exit strategy. Interest and exit, always. Yes. You yes. definitely do yes. an investing. Yes. But anything, you know, yes. again, that goes back to when you have certain principles, mm -hmm. God's principles fall in anything. It yes. doesn't matter. Yes. So even in business, mm -hmm. there are principles, Correct. no matter what business that you decide to do, mm -hmm. you have to follow those principles. Correct. Because they don't lie. There's yes. no experimentation. There's no trial and error in Correct. them. There's no wrong because the results are going to come in they because are. it's built in the principle. They are. They so are. you have to do that. And you have to have an entrance and an exit strategy. Correct. Yes. You know, they don't do it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, too, we don't knowledge information mm -hmm. it used to be knowledge is power but that's a myth now mm -hmm. it's not so we have to learn how to take that knowledge and apply it uh, action and put action it. behind the knowledge <laughs> so it doesn't matter if it's real estate though we just happen to be in this profession mm -hmm. so that's why we talk about it a lot mm -hmm. because we can tell you not only the principles in it and we can tell you and explain to you how to deal with it from a buyer standpoint Correct. from a seller standpoint and from a real estate agent standpoint, and me, I can take it another level from a brokerage standpoint. Yes, and, and that's so, it's awesome that you said that with knowledge and then um, action, because I know I we've had the conversation before, you know, my mind, me and you, we're so much the same. We have like a million things <laughs> in yes. our mind. Now, the difference is Dr. Karen has a million things, and then she writes them out on the paper. Kay, I have a million things, and they just get sometimes stuck in there. And I talk to Dr. Karen, like, Dr. Karen, I have this idea. She said, okay, write it down and just check it as you know. <laughs> so she is true to what, you know, you have a mindset or you have an idea or you get education, now put action behind what, it. What are you going to do with it? Put action behind it. I mean, it's the same with the training. Okay, it's the same with the training mm -hmm. that I just recently went through. I spent, first of all, I spent $1,000. Mm -hmm. So there's no way in the world that I'm just going to go and spend my $1,000 learning about real estate and you not execute it. it. Mm -hmm. It's no way. And so immediately, you're not going to be able to apply everything that mm -hmm. you get mm -hmm. because there's there are seasons. Correct. Okay, so sometimes yeah. you're going to have to just put things up on the shelf mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can't do anything mm -hmm. with it at that time. Correct. But what can you do now? Yes. Some people say, well, I don't have the money to do this mm -hmm. right here. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say what can't you do. Correct. I said what, what can you what do What part now? of that can you actually can you do? do? Yes. Don't worry like about that. the money. What can you do? Mm -hmm. And there are some things on anything that we try. There are some things that we can do. Correct. And so you take what you can do and run with Correct. it. And just keep working on those cans. Correct, correct. And if I you like work that. on those cans long enough, that cannot, it'll take care of itself. Correct, itself. correct. I like that. Take small chips out of it and eventually it's going to break down. It's going to break down. <laughs> and it's going to work out for your it's good. It's going to work out for your good. It's, <laughs> it's going to work out for your good. good. I like that. I like it's that. It's going to work out it's, for your good. And there it goes back, like you said, mindset perspective is always you know like you said the first thing we like oh wow I can't do this I don't have you know money to do this like you said what can you do right what's a small portion that you can contribute what right. is it that you can actually do to work to work your your end goal right imagine me as a broker mm -hmm. okay we're K1 Realty Group mm -hmm. okay we don't have to call out names but if anybody that's listening to this they can name about two to three major companies in real estate does my bank account match up to their bank account? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. But what can I do? Correct. How can I work with the spirit of excellence? How can I pour into my clients? Mm -hmm. How can I pour into my agent? Mm -hmm. I pour into them the level of where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I just continue mm -hmm. to build. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to do as an individual. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. That's what the people say. What they say: start where you are right now. Start with <laughs> because it. because if we sit up and say, well, when I get this, then I'll do this, and when I get this, then I'll get that. It never comes. Here's one of the things. <laughs> okay, so disclaimer: we're just having fun. We hope you all get something from this right here because I haven't been to the station in a long time, and I'm excited to be here. The, the, here's one: money make money. Mm -hmm. I got that. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have no money, baby. Mm -hmm. You better figure out how you can make some money. You better That's get true. on your knees first of all That's and true. ask God to open up some doors yes. for you because you don't have any money in your hand and he knows that you need some. Mm -hmm. So you better follow his plan. If you don't have a plan, mm -hmm. 
Because if you don't have the money, how can it make money? As you start to build mm -hmm. and you want to do some other options, take mm -hmm. some other options or take some other avenues, then you got some money. Now you can make Correct. to have that money work for you. Correct. But in the meantime, I remember I used to, I had no money. That's why I got into real estate. <laughs> I had not a dollar. My best friend started showing me those checks, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. I said, I didn't get in real estate because I love people. I do love people now, mm -hmm. but I, I got in there because I needed some money. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and then I started it helping all, people. All, yeah, right. when you see the and impact then, you have on people. Okay, I would get flyers, black and white flyers, and I would pass the flyers out. Mm -hmm. I would get my business cards because they were $20. I don't even think we used to do pictures back then. I'm not even sure. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, I would put a piece of peppermint, tape a piece mm -hmm. of peppermint on that business card, and just, I didn't know what to do, what to say. Because my broker at that time, I had a broker who worked a full-time job, mm -hmm. and he you worked on a night shift. Oh, <laughs> so he was asleep during the daytime. So wow. I couldn't get in contact with him because mm -hmm. I didn't know where to go. Because mm -hmm. I just got my license. So I had nobody tell you me had, where to go, wow. what should I be doing. So I had to figure this thing called real estate out. Mm -hmm. I take them business card. Here's my business card. If you want to buy or sell a house, here's my card. Mm -hmm. That was all I said. And I just kept pushing the card. Wow. I would go. I wouldn't even go home until I got out so many business cards. So again, remember what we said about principles. You awesome. can follow. <laughs> <laughs> business card out I would set business card goals mm. I had 500 cards I would come home I would do 50 cards a day so now say if you wanted to be an insurance agent mm -hmm. if you wanted to be a bolo bat producer mm -hmm. whatever it is that you want to do you do take your business card mm -hmm. set yourself business card goals mm -hmm. if you want to take your business and take it to another level mm -hmm. but you don't have the money you need so pass out your business cards Correct. do something work your business correct and I, man those are some nuggets if you're a business owner whether whether it's in real estate or any entity what she just told you right there is you have to constantly put people and let people know about your business hey this is my business i was telling um <laughs> i remember before i got into real estate it was you know i wanted to run out the house real quick and not really talk to anybody just like if i go to the gas station run into the gas station pay for my gas get back in the car and go in the house now it's a whole nother thing. When I get out, when I go to the gas station, I gotta let people know I'm a realtor. <laughs> and look what you do. I mean, look at Kay. Let's, let's talk about what you do. Not only that, you have a cap right now that says realtor. She had the cap is probably twenty to thirty dollars or something. So you can take twenty to thirty dollars in whatever yeah. your profession is, mm -hmm. and then you can have a conversation because people are looking at you. You is never know who's looking. Exactly. And you have your T-shirt when you're just doing casual, mm -hmm. when you're just out for a casual right. outing that you uh, you're uh, you're advertising real estate. Correct. So Correct. people can see Correct. you, and even you if they don't do anything at that point, they mm -hmm. may say that's the same lady mm -hmm. that I saw two months mm -hmm. ago at this gas mm -hmm. station right here. Correct. So promote yourself yes. learn how to if you want to google and youtube mm -hmm. then learn how to do free things yeah don't learn true. how to do things that you have to put so much money out that's true i even tell that's the so new true. agents that's i tell true. the new agents when you come in don't worry about spending money do not find things where you everything got the money, money. close your first you, deal you definitely told me that k there's so many things that you can do that free. doesn't require you to spend money do the free things first even if it's like a free account on, uh, you know, some type of site or, or a trial or something like that, do that first, Kay. That's then right. you, if it if it works out, then you start to pay. That's so right. She she's true That's to right. that. That's right. <laughs> and, and we did, and because I've been a business owner, I've done a lot of things. So you know, mm -hmm. I'm not 90 years old, but you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm up there. But uh, I'm 55. In case anybody wants to know. And you never know. And then if she would have said, if other, because she said it, that's the only reason why you know. <laughs> and uh, I've done a lot of things. I mean, I've done court reporting. I've done social work. I've done, what else I've done? I've done a magazine. Some people probably still oh, yeah. remember the magazine. Mm -hmm. I've done medical billing. Mm -hmm. But I've always loved what I do. Mm -hmm. I've never woke up one day. Mm -hmm. And the day that I woke up and I stopped loving what I did, mm -hmm. what I did back then, I worked at a hospital, a local hospital for 15 years. 
I no longer wanted, I was not comfortable there, and I gave them my pink slip, and mm -hmm. I never looked back. The day that I find something that I no longer like to do, I cannot do it. They can't pay me enough money, because wow. it won't keep us there. Mm -hmm. And that's how I remember. Uh, there's like a uh, back. I'm from I'm from Memphis, guys. <laughs> so there's this radio station, and each morning the DJ he he opens up the line to say it's called Love Your Job. So they have people call in to say, okay, for instance, I'm Kay Brunson, and I'm a realtor, and I work at K1 Realty, and I love my job. You know, so people just okay. call in just saying who they are, where they work, and I love my job. I like that. And I remember. <laughs> Years ago, before I became, got into real estate, and I wanted one day be able to call into that show and say I love my job. So I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like Dr. Karen. At that time, I could never call in and say I love my job because I was like, well, I don't love this job. So oh, wow. now, I if I was in Memphis, or maybe I can still call and call and say, Hey, I'm K Bronson. I'm a K one Realty. I love my job. So wow. that's, it's awesome. So you have to really have a passion and love what you do. Isn't that amazing? You really do. And I mean, the feeling that you get or that I get or that Dr. Karen get or realtors get when you actually are at the closing table and you have just helped, you know, your clients or your, at this time, at the closing table, they now family. <laughs> they family. <laughs> they family. They're clients and then they become family. And it's like, you know, close on their house, on their goals. I mean, this is like a, this is a big dream. This is a big dream for many people. And so to be sitting there and be able to actually help someone fulfill that, I mean, that's like the best feeling in the world. Money can't even Money make cannot, up for that. It cannot. I mean, that's, that's it priceless. Wow, it is. And when you see them in tears mm -hmm. and thinking that they could not have done that, correct. we know it's nobody but God. Mm -hmm. uh, correct. But with, where there's no but in that. And I was to a house last week, Kay, and when I saw the family come in and the kids hadn't seen the house, oh my God, you could see the kids. I wish I would have put that on video. Mm -hmm. The kids ran out of that mm -hmm. car. They jumped out of that car so fast. Mm -hmm. The dog mm -hmm. and the family, they left the doors open in the car and they just ran in the house. Oh, oh my God. God, that was so awesome to see. And they ran in every room. It's like they knew what was going on, but yes. they were so glad mm -hmm. to be in their house Correct. coming from an apartment. Correct. You you can that's priceless. Yeah, that really yeah, is priceless. You, to see. They're they're doing something that they didn't believe that they could actually do. Right. And, right. And to get to that finish line and for you to be a part of that, that's gold. That's gold. <laughs> that's gold. You know, and, and sometimes too, here here's another thing that, you know, clients can look out for is that sometimes it's not smooth sailing. Oh, sometimes yeah. you're gonna go through humps and bumps, mm -hmm. and that's why it's important mm -hmm. to be around someone that you trust correct you know correct, you correct. trust their expertise and sometimes you're not correct. going to like them all the time mm -hmm. but respect <laughs> them because they get mm -hmm. they're giving you the truth and they're doing everything that they can and one of our, our main reasons that we are in this business is we're problem solving yes okay? we are you know when people have an issue then it's our job on how to solve the problems and then there sometimes we just cannot solve the problem mm -hmm. because in real estate there are so many people that's mm -hmm. a part of it and everyone has to put the piece of the puzzle correct in their place and in the right place mm -hmm. to make the deal close so, so when you see that you have to just understand that mm -hmm. you know it's a process don't get frustrated just know that just continue to do everything that your lender exactly. that your real estate agent exactly. says if they ask you to give that paper 200 times yes. give it to them yes. 205 times right. and Kay I know you tell your clients create whether you create a paper mm -hmm. folder mm -hmm. or an email folder mm -hmm. every document that you send Correct. every document that you get you tell your clients hey keep, keep a file so if they do ask you for the same document then you already yeah, have it Correct. ready and it's easily accessible Correct. and you can follow through and get it so that Correct. you minimize pressure you minimize frustration mm -hmm. you minimize error mm -hmm. because we always say what could happen in real estate oh, will happen <laughs> in real estate <laughs> And some days, you know, it's like, wow, I've never seen this before. Correct. You know, we've never seen it as a real estate agent. We've been like that. That's like <laughs> most of the <laughs> scenario. they like, this never happened before. Okay. Right, right, Welcome well, right. to K World. But I love that. Yeah. And it's just like you said, um, because we are the professionals and we've seen many things, and sometimes, like you said, we haven't seen, but it's an emotional roller coaster. Yes. And so for the client, you know, 
they're dealing with five new people they never seen in their lives and all of them are asking them for something. You know, your realtor is asking for something, your title company is asking the mortgage, you know, so that it gets emotional for the client. But it's like I said, it's up to us as a team to, to hold it together. And yeah. even when that client gets emotional, I tell my clients in my first time home buying uh, seminars, I tell them, well, you know, real estate, one day you're gonna be like, oh, I love K. The next day you may be like, I hate K. That's right. But at the end of the day, if you just keep your mind on what you told me day one when we sat down and said you wanted to purchase house, just if you keep your mind there, then I'll get you to the finish line. Right. And, and, and even if you don't wanna talk to me this day, and when you decide you want to talk to me, guess what? When you call me, I'm going to be like, hey, how you doing? I am not going to, you know, I'm there for you. So okay. we, we work through all the kinks and, and it's, it's awesome, you know, but just, just stay online. Okay, as, I, as you were talking, and it just makes me think about some of the things that you do as an agent. And you called me one day. And we, 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 we go through feelings, too. Yeah. <laughs> Clients are not the only one that goes through feelings. We, we do, too. Sometimes, in, in all honesty, we get mad. And we sometimes want to fire our clients. But I know one of the things that you said to me, and it just made me really know what type of, type of an agent you were. You, you called me and you talked to me about a certain situation on a client. Mm -hmm. The next day, you called me and you said... Whatever it is, I have to make sure that I'm representing my client to mm -hmm. the best. Correct. And let me pull me out of it. Exactly. And when exactly. you said that, that really lets me know. And I've watched, I, you know, sometimes I tell people I'm like a pastor. They kind of heard all the mm -hmm. stories mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. from their congregation, from the members. Correct. So they, when people come in there and tell them certain things, they kind of have an eyesight mm -hmm. or in the spirit room. Correct. Right? Of what's going on mm -hmm. and kind of can dissect on what's really mm -hmm. happening and that let me know that that's an a plus agent mm -hmm. to say let me look back let me take the mirror right. and look at myself Correct. because my first responsibility Correct. is to make sure that I'm doing everything Correct. on behalf of my client Correct. that's I mean that that Dr. Carrie that is such a true statement I mean you know I always have to look at myself and say you know what it's not about me it's about them Yes. Am I doing the best to represent them? That's right. And if I'm doing that, you know, then that's fine. But if I feel like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about me, no, you, it's not about right. you. It's not, about it's not your show. Right. It's, it's their show. show. It's their show. That's right. It's the team. <laughs> Whatever their last name is. If it's Correct. Karen Lewis, mm -hmm. if I'm your client, mm -hmm. then it's Team Lewis. Correct. It's not Team Bronson. Correct. It absolutely. is Team Lewis. We're on Team Lewis. Correct. And sometimes, our team member may do something to offend us, Correct. to frustrate us or so, but we're still on the same still team. Still on their team. And so we all have to get to the finish line together. Correct. And so I saw that, and that's what, again, I'm always, you know, talking about you, but, you know, all our agents are, are great, and that's how we work. That is. You even talked about your bias consultation. You did a training on that, and that is one of the best things that I've ever seen real estate agents do. You all do it, mm -hmm. and you do it well. Thank you. When I did, when I used to, when I first started, now this is when you first started. When I first started, client was pre-approved. The first time I would meet them, I would meet them in the driveway of the first house. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know them. I didn't know their name. Well, I probably knew their first name. Correct. But I didn't know their last name. I didn't know anything about them. They didn't know anything about mm -hmm. me. We did not even have an opportunity to see if it would be even, Correct. we would be Correct. a fit for one Correct. another. Correct, Correct. That's something different. You That's see true. how you change it and you make sure. You said you won't even take a client out Correct. unless you actually sit down with them you and go to. over the buying process. You have to sit down with the client. Just like you said, you know, you when you sit down with the client at that initial consultation, you, you're not really putting business. Your business haven't started yet. You're getting right. to learn the client. You're building that rapport. You're not like trying to, when you go to the house and you're showing the property to the client and you've never even sat in a formal setting and say, hey, I'm Kay Bronson. This is what I do. This is what I can do for you. You feel like you're kind of pushing stuff down their throat. Right. They don't They don't really know your character. They really don't know your vibe, you know, get the vibe they don't know. And not only that, Mark Karen, as a realtor, like I was just saying, it's not about me. I have to switch up right. <laughs> according to what type of client I'm dealing with. 
If I have a client that want everything, you know, fast, I have to do things a little bit faster, but still make sure that I cover every right. scenario, but it can right. be a faster, you know, a little bit faster. If the client is a little bit, you know, they want to make sure that, you know what, I got to think about this, I got to I gotta fully know this, you know, you know, you got to give that client a little bit more time. Gotcha. If it's a first time home buyer, if it's an investor, if it's a seller, you know, everybody is treated according to who they, they are, but in the realms of me still being able to effectively do my job. Gotcha. So those things, sitting down and having that one-on-one -on -one lets me know, you know, how I need to, to handle that client. Here's and, a scenario there. Here, okay, that, that's a good one. So you have me and my husband. Mm -hmm. I'm a fast talker. Mm -hmm. I'm fast. Mm -hmm. And so you have him. He's slow. He, you know, talking <laughs> fast. Yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta. He's mm -hmm. just gonna. That's who. That's who he is, and that's who I am. Mm -hmm. So I guess there's the balance. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with that? I mean, blah 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 blah. I want this, and I really don't want to hear all of this right mm -hmm. here. And he wants to hear. He wants to get the contract, mm -hmm. and he wants you to go word for mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. How do you and, deal with a but, couple like that? You know, for the most part, Mr. Karen, you still have to. If you have a two people in here, and they have two different personalities. First, you want to make sure you don't step on anyone's toes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's, the first that's my thing. first thing. So I, I acknowledge it, and I kind of joke around and say, "Well, I know you want, you know, Miss Miss Lewis, you want to. I know you like, like get through it. Now. Right. I already know this stuff. I'm like, Miss Lewis, I know you want me to read through it. So what? So let's do this, you know. So I kind of, you know, put a little chuckle and a little giggle in there. So that's like, you know what, saying to myself, I'm still going to make sure I effectively, you know, give you all this information and everything. So I, you know, sometimes you just have to. Like you said, it don't let it have to be the elephant in the room. You can let right. it be no because they right. know how right. they are. Right. But if right. you're sitting up there and you, you kind of be <laughs> fake with them, and you know, that's when they kind of, she may be like with her arms crossed. <laughs> you know, I'm about, I'm about to fire case when I'm leaving. But you know, right. it, it, you, right. know, you feel that. You can. You have to be able to feel that that difference and that tension and just kind of make a joke of it. And But at the end of the day, you say, you know what, I still have a job to do. I'm still going to go through this. I'm still going to go over this. And you know, and and act. Is you understand? Like for for the Mister, where he's a little bit slower. And I know I kind of did. I, I went a little fast. I know Miss Lewis like it fast, but Miss Lewis, did you understand? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm with you. You know, right. so you just I have like to, you just have to have a way in the personality to still. And you know, I think the smile gets them too. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, Kay, I love that because. Um, one of the things that you said is that you make a joke out of mm -hmm. it, but you acknowledge it. And so if it was me, and I'm fast too, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, <laughs> she at least acknowledging both of us where we're at. Correct. And so now that would have been something to win me over. To open it up. Yes, yes that would you you would have gotten me. I would have signed on a dotted line Correct. right then and there because you did acknowledge Correct. who I am mm -hmm. and you're willing to work with me Correct. on the level I'm at. Mm -hmm. And then you will be willing to work with my husband on the level Correct. At, at where he's at because we're on the same team. Correct. So you yeah, I would have signed on a dotted line. <laughs> and that's I mean, you just have to be and that's that's what that one on one sitting does. Whereas right. we just go to the house, I wouldn't be able to get that. Right. And you, you would not know I that. I wouldn't know that. Right. I wouldn't know anything. I would be going in there blind. Right. See, I would have went in the house five minutes, mm -hmm. and he would have went in there like, well, let me open the refrigerator mm -hmm. because let me see if this is a double refrigerator. Well, I'm going to put the dishwasher mm -hmm. over. Well, these are the cabinets that got this cabinet don't work. Mm -hmm. And like, and she getting, oh. and he, 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 <laughs> she, he getting on your nerves. But it's, it's Normally, peace. the woman is and like that. Yeah. <laughs> let me say this, though. You do, you definitely do want to make sure that you're catering to the, the true decision maker as well. But in addition to, because this is a shared transaction, you don't want anybody to feel like they're, they're their opinion right. or their, it's you know, it's not important. It's not important. Right. Not important. Like that. Can you so, want to uh, remember, um, you want to um, remember, well, did you all sneak and do a, how do I say this? Did you all, are you all doing an hour show or something? Because I, <laughs> you know, normally the show is like 30 minutes, but I'm glad though, but no, it seems like I've been on the show for two I hours. Know. Did you all do a surprise for me? We, said, we are having such a great time. <laughs> end up I would say and then where I'm sitting at I can't see the clock so maybe let me just turn around I think I've been on here longer than an hour yeah no? I think so <laughs> well well that's your welcome 
welcome back. That's definitely your welcome back. Welcome back, listeners. Again, I hope and hope you all, and I know you did. You, you know, we had quite a bit of nuggets there uh, and talking in the show. And again, we're, we'll definitely go ahead and make sure that we close it out. Again, we so, I'm thankful. I know you guys are thankful, but I am so grateful that Dr. Karen is here today. And just one more thing. Um, before we go, um, oh, you know what? No, <laughs> we're, we're, we're there, we're there. Okay, so you know, if you guys uh, wanted to reach out to, to Dr. Karen, Dr. Karen, give your information. Dr. Karen Lewis, licensed real estate broker with K1 Realty Group, 305-322-31556, all social media, K1 Realty Group. And don't forget about the Home Mind Seminar, May 18th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Give us a call because we look forward to seeing you. Great, great, great. And again, this is Realtor Kate Brunson. My contact information, 954-552-5919. And Facebook, Instagram, Twitter under Realtor Kate Brunson. All right, guys. Until next time.